Hello, and welcome to Kick It Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to prepare file and submit to render farms. What is benefit of render farms? So let's begin as example right here. I have a scenery to create some nice country look. We have it custom models with terrains. We have it some purchase on Carnacopia trees atmosphere. When I render this preset its local case, what I'm going inside and set as a final, probably smaller render, preview on my machine. It's look all okay. And now I want to render this for the print example or higher resolution. If I try to do this at home on my machine, it's probably take weeks to render on that resolution. You have several uh, solution for this. One, increase your machine, put it more render farm, um, create your own rendering kind of facility at home maybe. If you, uh, problem with this, it's too expensive upkeep and maybe you don't do this uh, images every day. Maybe you do it like once every two or three months depending for the client or for your own purpose. For my own personal example, I have a small render farm that I run tests and sometimes your electric bill can go very, very expensive, very high. And the cost justification, it's not there. In this case, the render farm is probably one of the best solution. It's several render farms available online you can find. I do work before with a ranch computing. They're very nice, very helpful. And I actually highly recommend them to use for your project if you're using. They also support multiple other applications if you need it. So as example for this tutorial, I will use it render farm. We'll prepare project and we'll submit to them. Before we continue to the submitting, let's go back to our project and preview. The very important, as I said before, your model system included. So you preset you run test first with very low resolution on your computer to be sure the image you wanted or animations is in a way um, you desire. The one thing about most render farms when you submit your job, most time you cannot cancel. You just uh, can necessarily contact and stop it, but it will take time and again you will be charged with something. So be sure you prepare. Let's go through some settings. For example, an atmosphere editor you want to increase quality, quality boost. So you have, it's what you're going, you want going for less grainy, for more performance. That normal will take quite a bit on your machine. Next, we'll go to the render options. And for this, I will just use it superior quality and higher resolution. So obviously more than supported. And you can set all additional properties as well, save to the disk, but the application will save on the, to the disk and we'll submit it from render farm. We'll look there in a second for some utilities to provide. You also can enable and just set options. The other things you need to, if you want to save, you need enable if you want it. You can enable multipass and gbuffer as well. For this project, I won't use it any, but it will be same thing. So you're going inside, you set settings. So you set everything like you will do if you render on your machine. Okay, when you're done, you need to go file and you save your project. The one thing important when you start saving your project, and actually let me go save as so we can preview. So right here, that you will enable incorporate texture maps. And if you want it for less, you can click on compress file. If you save uncompress, it's save much faster in your computer, but the in but the file will be quite a bit large size. And right here you see it's already 80, almost 90 megabyte file. So even it's set compressed. A couple of things I'll say it's anchor, be sure it's incorporated, texture maps, check it, and compress file. It's make it a bit easier. I already saved this file. So right now let's go to Ranch Farm and see how we can set up. Again, for example, we used ranchcomputing.com. When you come, we'll go to the view. Right here, you can register and it's a free registrations. For me, I'm just going ahead and log in. 
um, if you you always can go in and fill up your information if you need it because say I already pre-registered before so I will just go and log in now okay so right here when you log in you can see on your left side for example you have a project you can submit validate and log all information this is very important if you for example want to submit new project let's for example look right here and also verify waiting list this is will be similar for some other render farms but i do recommend if you go first and check how it will work because they do have a little bit different individual settings for example i'm going to check right now waiting list and i can see what priority you can notice right here have several jobs before on the lower sapphire priority you can purchase for example this is really inexpensive you can purchase elite diamond ruby or all different type and the higher you pay more but it's key priority so for example if i want to after this project if i want to after this render going first so i want to pay a little bit more and i can go to emerald type in pop up my project depend on how fast i want to do this if i don't really so tight on a time and these projects look like how many frames approximate time how it's look so i can put it on a bottom and save cost and add my project this way again so this is kind of preview which is very nice i can also go and check my projects and when my project is running i can cancel them as long as they're inside the queue when a start process you cannot cancel if project is long take long time you can cancel by contacting um, person and ask for this for example also right here I heard one project before you can see which view it was using what name of the project when submitted what is price per CPU and what cost was this project for example I cancel so it doesn't charge me anything because it's canceled before it was processes was inside the queue when you start using this application I do recommend for you to preload a couple free applications from the software one it's called Ranch Sync this will synchronize with the computer and uploaded files as the render for example if you do animations and you have it multiple images this will preload those on your computer so you can see as they're going very useful and as well as Ranch Checker so they, we will use this one in a second all other things what I want to point will have it on the right side you can see it's have a benchmark test cost smear and the price so you can actually go and calculate plus minus what cost will be approximately for your um, render also if you use it average machine and sometimes you don't know how long it take frame so when you do preview you just um, multiply it or divide depend on your computer for example we're going to use it let's say do xenon core we'll say it will take about three hours to render and one frame so we can go right here and you can see what its cost will be okay and value and how much paid so about for the sapphire this time the cost will be about 627 for this time of render and notice this is estimating three hours per frame and it's take 176 frames so it would take 10 frames okay that will cost calculate approximately cost for this Again, this is all relatively because it will change depend. Okay, so right here information. You can also notice we have it some free software. And I do recommend for you to use it um, checker if you do it Maya Max or other applications and use the Ranch Sync application that is allowed as soon as the frames is rendered it's kind of send you back automatically synchronized with your machine so you know precisely what's going on ok 
Okay, so right here we see one project is done. We'll have another one started. At this time, we can go ahead and preload a project. So let's go right here, my project. Okay, I'm going to submit project. And I will go use it v10 for this. Okay, we'll click OK. Okay, now we go to submit my project. You can choose which one you want it. Um, for these ones, for example, if I want, I can send Emerald. And I can change this priority when it's before it starts rendering. However, if it's already start rendering, that will be a little bit too late. So you want um, kind of recalculate on a beginning if you want it. So if I submit Emerald and nobody was there, my start process and my uh, job start processing then. And I cannot kind of go back and change this. So right here we have about one and a half hour to wait on this. Okay, next I'm going to select my project. Okay, so we'll have it set my resolution for the image. Okay, and if you don't remember, you always can come back, click, and for example, I'll have it 1820, but 1024. Okay, so we'll set right there. Start frame zero and frame zero, so we'll have only one frame. And right here we can select our file and upload it. So I'm going to select all cows. This is about 92 megabyte, we'll go click upload. It may take a little bit time to upload depending on the speed. I'm going to pause the tutorials and come back when upload is complete. Okay, so right here we finish uploading a uh, file. Now when it's finished uploading, we can go to um, check current list. At this time you can see we can upgrade to different version or delete it. As when it start processing, that options won't be enabled. So you can upgrade as long as you do. You can upgrade or you can delete it, uh, manage your project as long as they're not in queue. And you'll see when it starts in queue, we'll have it, those options disappear. So our project will start render. Okay, so right here you can see it start rendering. And it's take actually quite a bit fast um, by the time processing because one benefit of using render farms, they're using a lot of very powerful computers that can take and render the image that probably this resolution on a machine that I'm currently recording may take about uh, 18 hours, 20 hours, and it's take a very few minutes to render on the render farm. So it's one of the biggest benefit of using the um, render farm. Okay, so right here you can see it's finished rendering and it's available for me to download in my download area. Just as example, I'm running right here pre-render at hour. It will take two hours just pre-pass and about 16 hours to render final image. So it's take quite a bit long time and I have a very nice powerful machine to do this stuff. You can see how the render farm is more um, useful and it can work very fast. There are also other suggestions. If you run a large scenery, be sure you split them, create smaller kind of areas to render. The currently rendered farm have a limit to one hour, 30 minutes or 90 minutes. After this, it will be paused. So it's have a limitation on some time um, to allow. It. So you want to actually schedule properly. And if you have an extremely large render, you want to split maybe on four or five different segments and send render this way and assemble after. So it's have a little bit faster way to do it. And right here our image is rendered. The very high detail, smooth and nice lighting. Of course this is provided with higher settings. And again this is uh, when you're done you can go 
downloaded your files or if you have a synchronizer it will automatically upload it for you and this is a way how you can utilize external render farm for example we was based on um, ranch farm render and overall they actually handle very easy very smooth and fast again this is not for your everyday use but this is very um, nice to use if you have it more commercial products commercial projects you want to run with um, where you need the time and the quality is important the best parts of course I can send my um, render here and I can go back to my VU and just start working inside the VU on my own project without waiting um, and overloading my PC with the render.